For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show. Glad to see you here. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this content, and ring that little bell dingling thing there if you want to get notified of future con uh, content. Anyway, let's get on with the show. Alright guys, today I've got a rather unique character. He's a newer guy on the auditing scene. He's very uh, not good at it. Uh, and there's a reason he's not good at it. It's because he fakes his videos. Uh, he leads people to believe they're true. And then he calls him out for falling for his fake videos. I don't understand the motive behind it, but uh, apparently the guy's trying to be somebody, and it's not working out for him because his last video 10 hours ago has gotten 98 views. Uh, what he did was he, he, he lured the uh, Frauditor Troll into checking out his channel because he's a Frauditor, he says. And so he so Frauditor Troll did, and he randomly picked out a video, and... Uh, it was of the girl t uh, trying to tase him. Well, it turns out it's all phony. It's all fake. The guy made it all up. So he starts becoming a newer auditor, admits he fakes his videos, and he thinks he's going to uh, achieve some kind of success doing that. I don't know, man. If he does, <laughs> good luck on him because I've never seen that work out. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, these newer guys, they're just... They're just, uh, they're just not cutting it. They're just not cutting it. Anyway, let's check it out. Welcome back, everybody. By the time you're seeing this video, I've let Frogger Troll's video marinate a little bit and get the views in, you know, reel in those views as much as possible. But, um, I have some bad news for you guys. I have some really bad news for you guys. Unfortunately, the video isn't exactly how can i say this real in fact we did two takes yeah you heard him he had to take two takes on that particular video i, I can only assume all of his videos are fake because according to fraud or troll he just randomly uh, picked one out just picked one out and this happened to be it so if this one's faked i'm assuming they're all faked uh, i i don't understand it what's the point to try to prove that you control somebody in to do your videos but once they find out they're fake you're gonna look like a fool he doesn't get it I, I don't know the reason you saw the black box on the third girl is because she kept smiling I couldn't sell it when she kept smiling obviously you would know it's fake right so in order to sell it I had to put that black box over the third girl so you guys would buy it and you did and you bought it pretty well, and Mr. Frauder the Troll himself, he bought the video, and he featured it on his own channel, so... I yeah, let's take a look at that, uh, Frauder the Troll's video, Citizen Pulse Taser on Coward Frauder the Broken Camera. So the guy pretended he broke his camera, he ran down the street crying like a little girl, somehow that makes him look good, I guess. Frauder the Troll uh, put that video up 19 hours ago, it's got 15,000 views right now. Uh, so, so that's pretty good uh, showing for a for a, a video that's been up for less than a full day. Now let's check out uh, Mr. Mr. Vegas's uh, video. So the original fake video has been up for four days, got a whopping 254 views. So I think I can see why uh, why he's trying to get somebody like Frauded or Troll or a bigger channel to feature his videos. I got to tell you, if it was me, I wouldn't do another piece of this guy's work uh, because he's obviously faking his videos according to the the own uh, frauditor he fakes his videos so uh i don't know what to tell you i don't get it poor frauditor troll he's getting a beating this week he's being sued over the internet and uh you know we got people sending him fake videos it's it's uh, i don't know what's going on the world is the world is collapsing around us folks anyway let's uh let's watch just a little bit more of this I guess I did a good job on that, that video that acting job, and they, they did a pretty good job as well. You gotta give them credit, man. And I know a lot of you liked that girl who popped the taser out, and you were saying she's a justice warrior, sticking up for women's rights, such and such. 
One guy actually got it right in front of the troll's comments. He got it right. He, he saw it for what it really was, and that would have been an assault. I can film people in public, you know, even though it's it's an aggressive form of, you know, um, just, you know, putting a camera up in someone's vicinity, you know, they feel uncomfortable. I understand that. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. He goes on for another 10 or 15 minutes telling how he faked the video and stuff, and, uh, yeah. I don't understand what it what he's trying to do unless he's trying to be somebody because obviously he's nobody now. Uh, he has the right to go out and film. It's an aggressive form. How's it aggressive when you stage the whole thing? It's all bullshit. It's all horse crap. Come on, man. What the hell is wrong with you? And then you come on and admit you make fake videos? What are you trying to accomplish here? I don't know. I don't see this guy doing well. The only thing that he did actually prove is that he can't be trusted at his word. Uh, he, he's not a real First Amendment auditor. He, he, he makes up the videos. He stages them. He probably pays these people or they're friends of his, I don't know. But he can't be trusted. His videos can't be relied on, so nobody's going to feature him. So I think, he, I think he stepped on his own toe here. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all. Bye.